be agreed to. I call the member for Denison. Um, Acting Speaker, I defer to your wisdom about the, uh, oh, oh. the functioning of uh, this place. Um, but I think we do need to, before we go to the third reading uh, and possibly a division, I think we need to just clear this up. Um, I'm not doubting the Treasurer that there's a, a more uh, recent explanatory memorandum, but despite my best efforts just then, I wasn't able to get a copy to see the latest version of the explanatory memorandum. The, the version I've got says quite clearly, and, I, and I'll quote it if you don't mind, uh, Acting Speaker, the government has agreed to restore funding to the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA, of $800 million over five years to 2021-22 and, re and reduce by a commensurate amount the capital allocated to the Clean Energy Innovation Fund. Uh, and it goes on, but I won't keep quoting. Now, I understand from talking to the Treasurer just then, uh, Acting Speaker, there's a more, uh, a more recent version of this explanatory, uh, explanatory memorandum, which uh, I understand from the Treasurer does not include that statement. So uh, I think it's very important that before we finalise this matter, we at least get to see the latest paperwork on what is a, a very, very important uh, piece of parliamentary business. Um, because at the moment, to, uh, despite our very best efforts, this is what we understand to be the facts of the matter because we haven't got a, a more up-to-date explanatory memorandum. I see the clerk racing in, and hopefully this will clear the matter up. Mind you, uh, through you, Acting Speaker, I would ask the Treasurer, though, that if the latest version of the explanatory memorandum doesn't have that paragraph, uh, that would almost make me even more nervous because then it will be completely um, um, unknown where that $800 million is coming from. And I suppose it would be probably a reasonable assumption by, uh, by, uh, by honourable members and perhaps a member for Melbourne and myself that we might assume that it's still going to come from the Clean Energy Innovation Fund. It's just that we don't want to broad the government doesn't want to broadcast it in the explanatory memorandum. So um, I'll keep talking while hopefully a latest version makes its way to the crossbench. Uh, and if that can't happen uh, quickly enough, Treasurer, I, I, would ask, uh, I would ask you to explain whether or not that paragraph has indeed been removed from the latest version of the explanatory memorandum. And if indeed it has been removed, what will be the source of that $800 million funding to ARENA? And will it indeed be by commensurate reduction? Thank you in the Clean Energy Innovation Fund, and I see, okay, Acting Speaker, I see that we've basically just removed the reference to the Clean Energy Innovation Fund. So my question to the Treasurer, after that very long-winded preamble, and I'm uh, very grateful for your patience, uh, Acting Speaker, you. my question for the Treasurer is, um, where will that $800 million come from? Very simple. Um, will it be? the Clean Energy Innovation Fund. A simple yes or no would do the job. Thanks, Acting Speaker.